What's up guys, Coach Vega here. So today our cash lesson is gonna be about promoting healthy behaviors. So a couple things that we're gonna be going over. Number one, we're gonna be going over the warm-ups and the cool-downs. Number two, it's gonna be why not to be sedentary. And I'm, get, I'm about to go over what sedentary means in a bit. Number three, being physically active. And for number four, setting a goal. So number one, warming up and cooling down. Warming up and cooling down is very important for us. It relates to last week's health lesson about the circulatory system and about how we pump blood throughout our whole body. So for the warm-ups, we need to be doing our stretches, we need to be doing our arm circles, everything that Coach Guevara and Coach Hernandez have you all doing, we need to do to avoid injury and to get the blood flowing throughout our whole body before we get into our activities. For the cool down, so for our cool down, is also as important as our warm-ups. So when we're in our, when we're playing soccer, basketball, doing our running, our heart rate is beating fast. So for our cool down, we need to do activities that's gonna lower our heart rate down to our, to our resting level. Um, doing that is gonna help our circulatory system and it's very important to live a healthy lifestyle. So now we're gonna be going into why not to be sedentary. So first, I'm gonna tell you what sedentary means. So sedentary means being a couch potato, basically. So you're just sitting at home watching TV, watching cartoons, playing video games all day. That's not very healthy. You're not gonna be pumping your blood um, doing those activities. So we can't live a sedentary lifestyle. We gotta be physically active. We gotta be moving. We gotta be doing our chores around the house, playing with our dog. Um, playing outside, anything to get our heartbeat going and to be moving around. Now, we gotta be physically active, which relates, which is the opposite of sedentary. So we gotta be physically active, constantly on our feet. We gotta be getting our heart rate up and we gotta be um, just pumping blood throughout our whole body. All right, so the last thing is gonna be setting a goal. So for setting a goal, I want you all to think of an activity that you all can do in the next week to, that's gonna get you physically active. So it could be doing uh, 20 push-ups a day, so 10 in the morning, 10 in the evening. It can be going with your family for a mile walk. It can be staying outside for an hour, um, outside of PE class, being physically active. Just something that you all can do that's gonna get your heart rate up and get you going. So that's it for today's lesson. So be ready for tomorrow's bell ringer because I might ask you a question about your goals. See y'all later.